Right, good morning on the 2nd of January 2019. I have to keep reminding myself that we've moved on and into... Um, and it's now 20 minutes to 9am. And I just want to let you know that the government of the UK have informed undertakers, um, funeral directors, to expect larger than usual death counts. Yeah and across the board so this means across the board means not necessarily the elderly and the sick those in hospital but all peoples yeah everyone whether they be healthy or not so what does this tell you what do they know that we don't and if you don't believe me you know either research this fact or simply go into your local undertakers and they will show you the proof they'll tell you that they have been told to expect at least one million uh, extra deaths at least, yeah, that could be 10 million extra, you know, and every year this count goes up, no one seems to bat an eyelid, but this year it's not attributed to any uh, type of sickness, to any type of flu virus, this is going across the board, yeah, and I wonder if, you know, this has anything to do with it, and you can't tell me it doesn't, look, here's Manchester, under a very heavily nucleated, nanoparticulated, aerosolized, weaponized sky. Take a look at it. The populace down there do not know what is hitting them. Yeah, they cannot wake up to this, they cannot see this fact. It's actual, it's factual, it's there. It's there, there's Manchester in the distance, yeah? Those buildings here, these are the new builds, insurance buildings and all the rest of it. Yeah? That coming down is not steam, not combustion from aircraft, it's not vapour, water molecules, yeah? It's not, that's Manchester. Yeah, my family, my friends, everyone is affected because everyone goes to Manchester, everyone lives in and around that area. You take a look around where I am here on the moorland, yeah, and it looks relatively clear. Yeah, but they are spraying around the sun, you can hear these aircraft, can't film them, can't see them. You know, my concern this year is that they are um, going to up the ante even more. They've said they are. They're going to dim the sun. They haven't said they're going to nanoparticulate the atmosphere. They have said they are going to dim the sun using these nanoparticulates of heavy metals. Yeah. And that is very disconcerting. It's scary. It's beyond scary. It's evil. You know, the vitamin D, everything that we need to stay alive and to stay healthy and to grow food is going to be gone. Yeah, and you wonder why I'm saying now I'm going to give this six months. Because in the spring they're going to start this. I mean, they've started it already. They've laid the foundations. Now all they've got to do is shove this final mix that we've been talking about in. And this final mix will block that sun and at the fucking cost of every single life on them. And they don't care. They don't care, David Keith from Harvard University has already said in numerous fucking interviews live on camera that it has to be worth the risk. We kill a million people a year. You know, they don't know. They could kill 20 million people a year. They could kill 20 million people an hour. They could kill us all in one fucking hit. And they've got these 5,000 aircraft at their disposal. So they're saying they normally keep that conservative. So that means there could be 20,000 these deserts all over the earth are full of these retired, they've got military bases with these, heli with these helicopters, these aircraft, all waiting to come out of retirement. They're all sealed up, the engines are sealed, they are pure, they are waiting and ready for something. They're in these deserts, we've all watched programmes on them, where these things are taken, thousands of them lined up. You know, old Freddie Laker aircraft, 747s, every kind of aircraft stored. Yeah, and, and they're saying, you know, 4,000 aircraft at least. Three to 4,000 aircraft. So we know they've got at their disposal every fucking aircraft on Earth if they want. They tell us they add this to the the jet fuel, yeah? So that makes us all party to it, so all of us feel a little bit guilty, yeah? When we fly. And, and it's nonsense. Half of these components, if not all of them, are that corrosive. Strontium, nitrogen, barium, assaults. You wouldn't mix that in any fucking fuel. I'm sure you wouldn't. Some pilot out there, come and tell me and show me the mechanics of mixing barium salts in fucking fuel. You can't mix sugar and fuel. 
you can't mix salt with anything it's corrosive you know these fucking aircraft would be dropping out the sky these are finite these things are refitted internally stripped out and they have tanks in them we're seeing pictures of them you know and this is coming you know once they block that sun that'll be my last video the day that I know for definite that that's it that's going to be my last video this is my last six months anyway this because I've, I've recorded it all I've shown it all I've kept it simple I'm not articulate you know I don't produce brilliant videos this shit they crap but they tell the truth and they show the proof you know and that's all that's needed to awaken fucking people with a short attention span I don't go on into detail about all the economics and the you know, it, it, it speaks for itself. The economics of it speaks for itself. David Keith says it's done very cheaply. It's a lie. It's a fucking lie. Because in my economics, you've got... if you Say you've got 5,000 aircraft doing this, at least, yeah? Then you've got 5,000 pilots. You've got 5,000 co-pilots. You've got 10 or 20 people on board each flight. Right, so there's all them wages. Then you've got all that fuel. All that fucking fuel constantly up in the air 24 hours a day. Yeah, then you've got the people monitoring this, the military wages, the budgets for it. Then you've got the people on the ground monitoring this. Yeah, they, they, this just horrendous. This is trillions and David Keith says, oh, it's, it's relatively in the billions. It's fucking not. This guy's an arsehole. He's an expert deceiver. If I didn't know better, I'd say that he was fucking... He was the anti-fucking Christ, but we know he isn't. But he's demonic. He's demonic. He does not look anyone in the eye with his answers. He smirks every fucking question. He cannot answer a question, a serious question, without laughing. There's always an element of fucking besmirch behind his fucking evil, horrible, ugly bastard grin. Yeah, but I'm not calling for him to be hurt or to be injured or any of these pilots. I'm calling for court cases. Real court cases where we can watch these people be tried, convicted and locked up. Or sentenced to death, whatever. I want it done legally, I want it done right. And I want to stop this fucking shite, I've had enough. So the next six months are imperative to me and I've got to get back to doing my job. This has impacted everything. This has impacted how the way I write, the way I think, the lot. I cannot fucking do it anymore. I can't write a love song anymore without the angst being in there. The irk, the fucking hurt and the fucking anger, all of it. It's all in there and it's affected everything. It's affected um, me, it's affected how I live, my family, the lot, and I want it back. So gradually now I'm going to try and wind down from this. I'll keep on recording the evidence whilst I can. But truly, once my job is to record this, to show the truth and the proof. I know that I believe that in my heart. But once, once they dim this sun, there's nothing I can do then. Yeah, I, I did my job beforehand, people didn't take heed, they didn't take warning, they didn't take to the fucking streets and rioters, uh, but in, not in rioters, in, um, what do you call it, peaceful assembly and peaceful protest, that's what I'm calling for, no riots, no one gets hurt in this peaceful protest, enough people are getting fucking hurt now from this shit coming down, the dementia, the fucking lung disease, COPD, Everywhere I go somewhere, I've seen a guy up here the other day, middle of nowhere, here, trying to get himself fit. Yeah, Oliver! Don't you dare roll in that cow shit. Come on! Guy up here the other day, oxygen on his back. Ex-joiner, woodworker. Yeah, carpenter. Smoker. Up here, COPD. Yeah. Oxygen bottle on his back, two tubes up his nose, and, and you know, convincing himself he's going to get his lungs right. Yeah, and then he's up here in all this shite, this brain. You know, I talked to an Irish guy yesterday, another guy, 60 odd year old, he'd just retired. And he was saying to me, I don't know why you bother filming it, mate, no one gives a shit. I record it, I send it to my family back in Ireland, no one cares. And I said to him, yeah, well, if I thought like you, you know, I'm not going to wake anyone up. But truly, once they, they block this sun, there's nothing I can do then. I can't protest it. It's not going to stop then. It needs stopping now while it's in its infancy. You can see it building. You can see it fucking building. They're laying the foundations. It's going up and up and up. And at some point now, they've got this mix. I don't know what it is. 
but they've definitely got something they're going to spray right at the death and it's going to block the fucking lot it'll be something you know so ridiculous and it'll all form part of this agenda where the fucking depopulation is quick it's super fucking quick so once they block this sun that's me done you know, I kid you not, that's me done because there'll be no point. My job was to show you the truth, show you the proof. I can't do that once it's blocked. I'm not going to walk around every day going, here we are. We're under this, whatever we're under. You know, my job was to wake people up before and not after the fucking event. Yep. So this channel will stay up. I'll try and update it as I can, like I said before. But, you know, there'll be no, I won't be walking around then. You know, definitely won't. I'll probably be sat in the fucking house forever writing. Yeah, purifying as much of the air as I can and I will not be coming out in it. I fucking know I won't. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. It's either us or them. Yeah, it's either us, either we've got to break. Yeah, and they're pushing us all to the point where we lose it. You know, once everybody loses everything, they've nothing left to fucking lose, then they do lose it. But then it's normally too late. But we've only got these few hundred people controlling all this, these bankers, these wankers, these fucking ham shankers. You know, there's billions of us supposedly and a few hundred of them and here we are. Even having this discussion. You know, the truth and the fucking proof and we can have them running. All we have to do is down everything, everything that they have us doing. Stop, see, stop your jobs. You know, and, and in no time at all, they'll shit themselves and everything will write its fucking self for a time anyway. But, uh, and that's it. I'm sorry for ranting and giving it out, but this fucking feels like... Oliver, come on. This just feels like we're at... <clears throat> we're at the very gates now. The very gates, and I can feel the fucking heat. I can feel the heat from this, I'm telling you. And it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. Yeah, and you can't mock me anymore, I'm right. You can't mock me, you can't mock all the others that have been doing their bit, yeah? Yeah, you can't ridicule us for much longer, you can't thumb us down for much longer. And I have not requested that to be monetized by any 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 YouTube or anything right linked in anything that I'm on yeah so when you see adverts now popping up don't get angry at me it's not me they're doing the same with geoengineering watch.org Dane Wigington he put a notification on the other day saying YouTube I have not monetized this channel why are you showing adverts and mine's the same the odd video that's going up now is, is having adverts on people are telling me a quick advert you know but it's not me it's not me, I don't need this fucking... I've not sold out. I've not sold out and the whole idea is I am going to get out. Yeah, before they try and fucking force me out anyway. Oh. So come on, you two, let's get to the end here. I'll do a quick shot of at the countryside. This is what we know and this is what we love and if I could build a house up here now you know, I'd start pulling these bricks up here today and lay these. And it's not hard to do. If you could buy a patch of land up here, anybody that knows the UK and Ireland, Scotland, you'll know that the walls are vast. The farm walls stretch for thousands, millions of miles. You know, people are going to say to me, millions of miles of Britain's not that big, but across country, in grid pattern, in formation, look. Yeah, look at these. Look at these. Wait till I get up to them and I'll show you. Yeah, but you've got millions of miles it, it equates to. Yeah? Some of these walls are 17th century and before. People tell me that they find little clay pipes that people used to smoke when they laid this or when they, when they were A-making in bygone times and things. Little treasure things. Look at it all. Yeah, and as far as the eye can see, all the way to Scotland, hundreds of miles. Yeah, thousands of miles, millions of miles all across the UK. This overpopulated nonsense. Yeah, look. Different area today, and I can walk anywhere. Once you're out the towns and cities, there's no overpopulation at all, none. You might bump into people in town, it's to be expected. 
don't fall for the we are overpopulated there's not enough food shit we should be growing food here it should be growing naturally without us fucking interfering and sticking this glyphosate shite into everything but take a look here reservoir in the distance down there come on lad where's he gone now and just look at this wall, look at it, it stretches. It, it stretches to, to beyond Yorkshire. 30, 40 miles away from here, that direction. Here, look. Yeah, if I could buy an acre of this land here, I could gather all this stone and build the biggest fucking house. You know, for all my family, my mum, my brothers, my sisters, we could all have it. Just from this. Right, and these farmers neglect this now, they don't give a shit. The skill has gone, and it wasn't a fucking great skill laying these bricks out, yeah? It was hard work. And then they replaced it with this crap. This fucking nonsense, these bits of fucking fence posts here that break off. Yeah, look at it. But it's all still here. It's all still here, the blueprint to hard work, the fucking backbone is there. And if I could fucking acquire some of this... I'd be laying these fucking bricks, I'd be building myself a fucking fortress for free. And that's it. So we are up here now. There's the, one of the reservoirs in the background. We're going to tramp some of this moorland now. See how far we get in the next hour. Uh, and thank you for listening. Um, stay alert and that's it. We're going to get over this fence now. Come on lad, you go through. Ready? Hang on. It's all frozen, lad. It's frozen, lad. Go, oh, you go through. Come on, help. Over we go. Where is she? Hang on. We're stuck. <laughs> Come here, you. Come here, you, you bugger. Right, hang on. Oh, down we go. There we go, girl. Come here. Right. I have done my best, I have done my best, I know it looks terrible, you know, shaky videos, swearing and, but, you know, like I've said, you know, the sharp to my sword, you know, if, if you know your Bible in Revelations, the book of Revelations, you know, that, that there's a mention of a verbal sword in there that fucking slays just about everything evil, yeah, read the book of Revelations, just read that one chapter, get it up on your e-readers or if you've got a bible read it yeah and it tells you about the verbal sword the verbal sword that does the slaying yeah so before you ridicule me before you rubbish me and condemn me for using the f word remember god if you believe in god wanted this verbal attack he wanted this verbal attack and i've done my best I have done my best, it's come from my heart, it's come from my soul, it's not come from anywhere else. The anger and the pain and the fucking anguish at looking at this day in, day out. And then look at this. Look how beautiful this is. This is the last shot you're getting from me now today. Yeah, look at this, look how beautiful it is. Lower reservoir, top reservoir. There's more further on that I can't film from here. Yeah, and then we pan around slowly. And there's the filth. There's the filth. There's the warning from the British government to you undertakers and you fucking... Yeah, you purveyors of death. Yeah, this is why. Thank you.